Japan has four main islands, eight regions, and 47 prefectures. If it's your first time visiting, it's probably very hard to choose where to go. So in this video, let me show you some of the main places you can visit to get a taste of Japan. And this time I went with All Japan Tours, so let me show you how you can enjoy Japan in just 8 days. We start off our trip with the arrival at Narita International Airport and then travel through 10 prefectures before departing in Osaka. I won't be including the arrival and departure days, so let's start off with day 2. In the morning, we were picked up by our English speaking Japanese tour guide, and then we were taken to all the locations by a private tour bus. At each location you arrive at, the tour guide will explain a little bit about the area and what to do, and then you will have free time to explore and wander off yourself. The first place we went to was Asakusa, which is one of Tokyo's old traditional areas. There are many things to do and see here including the temple and the very popular shopping street which is filled with street food and souvenirs. Nakamise Dori tends to be quite crowded especially during daytime but if you just go one or two streets away from the main street you will find many other interesting shops with less crowds. Another favourite place of mine to go to is the Asakusa Tourist Information Centre where you can get a free view of Skytree and a bird's eye view of the shops and temples. Don't forget to check out Sumida Park, especially when the cherry blossoms are in full bloom. Ueno Zoo is a large public park next to Ueno Station in central Tokyo. There are many things to do here from temples, museums to zoos. It's also one of the most popular places to see cherry blossoms in Tokyo, with more than a thousand trees lining its central path. For lunch we had Skiyaki, which is a very popular Japanese hot pot dish. Skiyaki consists of beef and vegetables cooked in a soy sauce and sugar soup base. And then you can dip it in the egg. Well, it's optional if you don't want to. But it's good, right, when you dip it in. <laughs> mm, so good. It makes it like 10 times better. Getting around by the private bus lets you see views you usually can't see from the trains. Meiji Shrine is just behind the busy Harajuku station and is a great place to go to be surrounded by nature and culture in the busy city. The Imperial Palace is where Japan's imperial family lives. Although you can't enter the inside of the palace, you can enjoy the contrast of the high-rise buildings amongst the traditional Japanese gardens. Tokyo Tower is a symbol of Japan's post-war rebirth as a major economic power. You can go up to its observatory and get a great view of Tokyo from the center. The hotels reserved are located in convenient locations in case you still want to explore some more after the tour ends. Hotel buffet breakfast is included every day, so you can enjoy a variety of different foods in the morning. Everyone's here! Good morning! Yes, good morning, I put my hair down today. Good morning! Are you feeling better today? Yeah, yeah, good morning. Good morning, how are you guys doing? Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody this morning? Good. First of all, we're going to go to Hakone. It's a resort area for a lot of Tokyo people because it's just a two hours drive from here. One of the main attractions in Hakone is riding the ropeway up to Owakudani Station to see the volcanic fumes. So at the top of Owakudani, you can actually get a great view, a really great view of Mount Fuji. And you have to find the black egg, so that's what we've got to do right now. Wow! So if you eat this, you can live seven years longer. Oh, yeah. This is pretty good. It's like a normal egg. The Peace Park has a nice wide open space atmosphere and is another spot to see Mount Fuji up close. For lunch we had deep fried pork cutlet. To make this sauce you have to ground the sesame seeds and add a sweet tonkatsu sauce to it. No? Oh, you're good. Yeah. 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 
another thing, if you notice um, the restaurant, everyone's a local, so there's not many tourists. Yeah, so you know it's good. Rather than taking just a ton of photos of the famous Mount Fuji, learn more about the history and the story behind it at the World Heritage Center. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, Tumutaki Volcano was at the same location where Mount Fuji now rests. Now we're at the first station and this is a place you can come up to to see Mount Fuji really close. <laughs> Lake Kawaguchi is the main lake out of the five lakes, so enjoy the peaceful sounds of the water ripples and Mount Fuji right in front of you. We had a really good nap on the bus and now we've arrived at our hotel. All Japan tours look all stars and players, so this is another really good hotel. Wow, this room is huge. It's bigger than my room back at home. The hotel was so nice, it even had a Japanese hot springs, which I love to go to after a long day. There's everything here from pizza, to pasta, to sushi, to tempura. We are going to take a one and a half hour ride through the countryside and mountains to go to Matsumoto Castle, which is one of the 12 original castles in Japan. Go in the castle! So they would come here, look for the enemies and shoot them from these holes, these windows. It's like climbing a mountain. Imagine if this is like your everyday house, you have to be like, go to the toilet. <laughs> Next, we were off to Takayama, which is a city located amongst the Japanese Alps. But before that, we grabbed lunch up in the mountains. For lunch, we had a Japanese set which included fresh vegetables picked from the local area. After arriving in Takayama, the first thing you feel when entering this town is the traditional atmosphere it has. Takayama Jinya is the only traditional local government office still in existence. When you wander around the inside, you will sure come across some interesting things. Not box. <laughs> it says not for use. <laughs> there are a lot of shops in this area where you can buy souvenirs and street food. But I recommend trying out their specialty which is the raw beef sushi and the Japanese sake. <laughs> Don't pour a lot. <laughs> it's like I the whole Take shots here. <laughs> For the main room, this is what it looks like. Again, it's huge. After the hotel buffet breakfast, we visited the Takayama Morning Market. The market was right next to the riverside which gave it a very peaceful and local atmosphere. I found many interesting stores here like this calligraphy store and a shop that sold marshmallow eggs. But a must try at the market is the fresh and sweet Takayama apple. Hi! Next, we headed up the mountains to see the World Heritage listed Shirakawago. Here you can see the Gasho styled farmhouses, and even though it was early spring, there was still a lot of snow on the ground and on the houses, however, you can enjoy different scenic views all year round. For lunch, we had a Japanese set meal including soba noodles, tempura, fried chicken, and udon. Next, we headed to Kenrokuyen in Kanazawa, which is one of Japan's top three beautiful gardens. This park is also beautiful in spring with the blooming cherry blossoms. Next, we experienced a bullet train ride from Maibara to Kyoto, which can reach speeds of up to 300 km per hour.
after having some free time at Kyoto Station to eat dinner, we got dropped back at our hotel. I don't need two beds, but maybe I can sleep on one and mess up the other one. The more beds, the better. In the morning, we visited the famous Kiyomizu Temple, best known for its wooden stage that is 13 meters above the hillside below. No, I'm gonna say there's a kid that needs to move. Keep going, you're still good. You're almost there. At least two miles. Keep going. Okay, bend down and touch it. To the left. <laughs> the kimono show and this show goes on every hour basically it's a really short show it's around 10 minutes but you get to see lots of beautiful kimonos and of course lots of beautiful girls another must visit area in Kyoto is Gion district where you can see a lot of the traditional housing and if you're lucky maybe get a glimpse of a geisha or Michael in the street you can also watch a geisha dance performance here too so now we've come to the Kamogawa River and we're gonna have a little hanami flower viewing by the river. A lot of the locals relax here by the river as well, so let's go! King Kakuji is one of Kyoto's most visited temples and a designated UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. The pavilion is built out of wood with the top two floors covered in gold leaf. It's for good luck. You make it in. That was off. No luck for you! For dinner we had shabu shabu, a Japanese hot pot dish of thinly sliced meat and vegetables boiled in water. Look at that big piece of meat. That is <laughs> There are many shrines and temples to see in Kyoto. However, my favorite one has got to be Heian Shrine because of the beautiful garden it has in the shrine. The garden has many weeping cherry blossoms and also a mysterious atmosphere that I really like. Around a 30 minute ride from Kyoto city, we arrived in Uji. Uji is a town famous for its green tea and we also got the opportunity to experience a traditional Japanese tea ceremony. So your left hand below the bowl and then yes and then you do it. So you see when they present to you they present the flower size. It's an entire meal. You have your vegetables, you have your meat, you have your fish, you have your anything that makes your meal complete for a dietary diet. Next, we came to Nara, the oldest capital city of Japan. We first went to Todaiji Temple, which houses the largest bronze statue of Buddha. The surrounding park is also filled with over a thousand deer, so you can buy deer biscuits and feed the deer. The deers will bow their head to you for food. <laughs> Our last visit for this trip is Dotombri in Osaka, a very popular shopping, entertainment and food district. Thank you.
excited. Trying out the street food is a must, but it's even more fun when you make it yourself. Let's make some good takoyaki. It's in the bowl. It's in a little pot. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you look like you had a Nori explosion over there. If you guys also want to go on a similar tour to the one I went on, I highly recommend All Japan Tours. They are located in California, but they deal with English-speaking clients from all around the world. 